Ellie, what you got? Ellie has the latest information on the Phantom Thieves target. Extra, I was wondering when you show up. I've got the latest scoop on the Victor spoils that our many-faced friend has set his sights on. Have you visited the Coliseum of late? There's a tourney in the works, and it's looking to be a big one. The Mithril Cup, sponsored by none other than Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern. They say that Master Firgis will be furnishing the prizes himself from his personal collection. Small wonder it's captured the attention of Mr. Sticky Fingers. You are familiar with the concern, yes? It's only the largest mining interest in the Sultanate, after all. The chairman, Master Firgis, sits on the syndicate and possesses such wealth that rumor has it he could buy half the realm if he chose to. He's also renowned for being something of a martial arts enthusiast. With his position of affording him little opportunity to test his own skills, he settles for living precariously through the exploits of others, hence his sponsorships of tournaments like the Mithril Cup. My colleague Ganelon is in Ulda covering the tourney as we speak. If we were to track him down, I, I bet he'd be able to give us something to get our investigation started. Okay, let's back to Ulda. There he is, Ganelon. Yes, I'm a busy man. If you're looking for small talk, I suggest you look elsewhere. No need to be rude, Canelon. She's a friend of mine. Now, what say you share your latest findings with us? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Mm-hmm. How about it? Uh, Ellie? Huh. If it isn't the middle eye star reporter, come to have a laugh at Canelon's expense before returning to pen your latest front page feature, eh? Oh, very well. Just promise you'll put in a good word for me with the higher-ups, okay? Now, let me tell you this. There's a strange thing suffered at the Coliseum. Bugger all. It's a tra tra travesty, I tell you. Okay. Hodge, Hugh, and Haibo. Whatever is the matter, and where, pray tell, is Hutchin? The four of you will compete for the cup together, yes? I fear that an unfortunate mishap has left Hutchin in no condition to fight. We were just on our way to convey the dire news to Dower Meadow. Mishap, my arse. This was sabotage. Some bloody coward out there will stop at nothing to eliminate his competition. I sweat it on my subligar. Lower your voice, Hodge. My head stinks enough without the, your bloody shouting. Uh, Hutchin, shouldn't you not be resting your wounds? Oh, but forgive your incompetent, unworthy comrade. If I had been quicker with my mantra, we would still be four men strong. Do not berate yourself, Sohaimo. In victory and in defeat, the mantra fails. Mantra fails, fight as one. You bear no more responsibility for my wounds than I. What is this? We got Manderfil and now uh, and now we got Mantrafils. Is this gonna be the uh, the the competitor, the <laughs> the biggest rifle of a uh, Manderfil? Anyway, I dare say I'll not be getting back into fighting Fettle by arsing about in bed. I'm ready to chant some mantras. How about the lot of you? Uh, Hutchin, for you, I'm always ready. Now that's what I like to hear. A thousand mantras, and I want each one to ring out over the Sagoli. You know, after we see Hildebrand and Goldbird, that kind of outfit to me is like, yeah. We seen, <laughs> we seen something worse. <laughs> we seen something worse, you know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it, it it became to the point of like, well, you know, it, it's it's a Sunday, I guess. <laughs> you know, what I mean, it's like it's a daily life. You know, we seen that before, so you know, <laughs> the mantra fails. Aye, as Suchin tells it, they took their name from a training partner they met at the first of Ral Ralger, a man they most admired for his devotion and chiseled. Physique. Consider me not the least bit interested. This talk of attacks on the competitors, however, of this I would hear more. Ah yes, I mentioned that strange things were afoot, yes? With mere days left before the Mithril Cup, a staggering number of would-be combatants have withdrawn. 
citing a host of curious ailments and injuries. With the list of entrants shrinking by the day, the organizers have been forced to abandon the elimination format in favor of a mass melee between what few battles, battlers remain. The Phantom Thief Challenge, gladiators dropping like flies. No, this is no mere coincidence. I would speak to the individual in charge of the event. Where might I find him? Though the concern sponsors the, tur the tourney, the day-to-day -day organizational duties are being handled by a fellow by the name of Dower Meadow. He should be in his office within the Coliseum's house. I'll send word to the gateman, Yuyubaya. He owes the middle eye a favor or two. Splendid. Come, Mr. we've got a case to crack. Without Hildebrand? Come on now. Okay, there he is. Yuyubaya. From the mithril eye, you say? Then by all means, you are free to enter. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Mm, this, this, that, uh, that someone wearing a conjurous robe there, or, you know, maybe the thaumaturge. This sounds kind of weird. It looked kind of weird. But then again, every, everyone here, like, using armor, okay, they kind of like gladiator, warrior, and those kind of thing. And yet there's one caster. You know what I mean? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it just... You sure you should be here? <laughs> you know what I mean? I am Ellie, reporter of, for the Mithril Eye, never blinking, all seeing, you know the deals, yes? And you must be Dower Meadow. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the upcoming tourney. Oh, there he is. Ooh, fancy. Gar har har, who am I to argue with for publicity? And from a charming little thing like yourself, ask away, me girl. That set between a challenge from that so-called Phantom Thief and now that these bizarre attacks start getting the fighters, our attorney is already the talk of the town. Now that you'll see me complaining, provided someone still left to fight, that is. You're free to investigate as you wish, but you'd be smart to exercise some caution. Needless to say, recent events have everyone here a bit on edge. Why? Just moments ago, one fighter almost took off another's head for insulting the color of his sub. Looks like we got ourselves another. Hmm. These two aren't in the entry books. Yep, that's the, 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 the post. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> and our challenger unleashes a vicious right hook as the gentleman inspector was channeling his strength for his next attack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! <laughs> oh, well, Naishu is the best hype girl, man. I want Naishu as my hype person every time I do something in this game. <laughs> Inspector Briardine, as efficient as ever, I see. A true gentleman. <laughs> Excuse violence. <laughs> Inspector. You were thinking. It annoyed me. <laughs> Dead. Dower Major, I presume. Tell me everything you can about the prices for this tourney, and try to be brief. Was worth wondering when you might ask. Master Fergus has spared no expense in making the Metro Cup the most lucrative tourney this Coliseum's ever seen. The victor will receive a true treasure from his collection, the Warden's Grace. A ring fitted with the larger sun sphere you'll find outside Ocarn. Hmm. The second and third place prizes are nothing to sneeze at, neither. But I don't care how many faces he's got, we've nothing to fear from this thief. The concert has hired an elite regiment of stone torches to watch over the vault day and night. I mean, well. We know. We know. It's not gonna work. Let's get real. <laughs> He's trying to copy Briardine. <laughs> yes, just as the brass plates were so successful in stopping the thief last time. If you want your treasure safe, go fetch them and bring them to me and be quick about it. I haven't all day. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hilterman. It's just like, he's there. It's like, hey. What's up? 
Fear. Yeah. <laughs> Fear I can't do that, Inspector. After all, what proof do I have that you ain't Mr. Many Faces in another of his elaborate get-ups? Now, if you want to get your hands on the spoils, you'll have to claim them as any other would in battle. As a matter of fact, what with the ranks thinned as they are, we are actively recruiting new competitors. The more the merrier, and the more lucrative at that. Gar har har. Now, where did our receptionist get off to? Over here, you slimy bugger. We've got some fresh blood for the melee. Give me a moment, will ya? I've only got eight arms. Or were they legs? Oh, is this? Yep. It's the octopus. Oh, what's his name? This goofy looking <laughs> octopus. You called? I was just about to give the lovely Miss Avila the grand tour. Just, just look at this face, dude. In spite of Hildebrand, look, he's purple. As to the Zavernash, you, this scholar, this overabundant, overabundance of appendages, I smell a case. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's just my reception. It's Ultros. There it is. That's his name, Ultros. Don't be startled. Now, he's an ugly little bugger, but he's friendly enough. Word has it, he was one of many bizarre creatures born from a recent experiment with ancient incantations at the Thaumaturgist Guild. I don't know about that. But look at this. Look at this perf looking eye. <laughs> they were going to shield him away in a hole in the desert with the others. When he opened his slobbering mouth and started pleading for his life, I just want to live in peace, I'll do anything, anything. So the management hired him to perform odd jobs about the Coliseum. And am I, am I ever glad they did? I tell you, this job ain't glamorous, but it sure has its perks. What a delicious morsel, I want to get my tentacle around her. See, I told you. It's just, just look at this freaking... Weird looking face perf. <laughs> Woo! I've seen a lot of animes in my life and I know where this is going. <laughs> Morning best chapter. I know where this goes. Yep. <laughs> I've seen way too many anime in my life and I know where this is going. <laughs> hmm. I know not who you are or where you hail from and I do not care. If you dare challenge me, my Tempest Blade will show you no mercy. You can forget about your case, Inspector. There is only one who will claim the victor's spoils, and that is me. Alright. Alright. Oh, I just love it when she talks tough. Now, who is the chump who wanted to get a pummeling by my lovely little Luffy? He's gonna look at me. Yep. <laughs> Though a gentleman takes far more pride in rescuing fair damsels than fighting them, I fear we have little recourse. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall do what must be done to. Extra lovery will be entering the tournament on my behalf. <laughs> Bruh, that's rude. He, my man's about to make his grandiose speech and you just came in like... No. <laughs> How dare you? Is there a lovery? You do look like a lovery. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, bugger me with a spear. You'd think I'd see the day when a warrior or light stood in my Coliseum. He that clink clink clicking. That's the sound of Gil pouring into our coffers when the public finds out that a true Eorzean hero will be stepping into the ring to fight for the Metal Cup. Oh, and I reckon your friend can tag along too. Show him where to, where to sign ulti. Oh my god. <laughs> Goofy looking. Ah! <laughs> With Ixara, I suppose we have as good, as good a chance as any. Now we just need to make sure that she doesn't come down with some curious injury. Nah. Don't worry. That gladiatrix Avila, was it? Seemed quite certain of her chances at victory. Suspiciously certain, I would say. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be her. 
<laughs> I am already 10 steps ahead of you, Inspector. That Ultras fellow seemed most knowledgeable about Miss Avila. Come, Nushu. The investigation is afoot. As much as that sounds like an amazingly productive line of investigation, might I suggest that our first priority is to keep Ixara here safe? Let us return to Ganelon and see what else he can tell us of these mysterious attacks on the combatants. Very well, I shall leave that task to you. I have a leader of my own to investigate. Should you uncover any new information, I trust you will share it with me at first opportunity. Okay, okay, let's see. I suppose that our questioning of Mr. Ultros can wait. Let us see if this Ganelon fellow can enlighten us. Look, I know you're the warrior of light and all, but we cannot afford to take any chances. Be on your guard, etc. Alright. You again? I've already told you that. What? Enter the tourney, you say? Are you out of your bleeding mind? Not really. Look, I've got a suspicion or two, which I'm happy to share with you, but in the end, you have to protect yourself, you hear? Easy. I put regen on myself and that's good enough. So I've been asking around and it seems that more than a few of the fighters who pulled out of the tourney were scheduled to fight a warrior ass by the name of Afila. Now I cannot make any promises, but my instincts tell me this girl is bad news. But don't take it from me when you can hear it from someone who crossed plates with her just days ago. Fellow by the name of Raging Rat had the misfortune of being matched up with Afila in the preliminary round and earned himself a right bruising from it all. Last I heard, he was resting up back at the Pugilist's Guild. Why don't you pay him a visit? Hmm, suspicious indeed. Is it a coincidence? Or is it not coincidence? Because, hmm, now that I think about it, even be uh, like previous cases too, like things are looking kind of like coincidence, but they're not really. Maybe it's the plan. Maybe the the thief has already been planning all this to to seem that it kind of looks like a coincidence. Mm, my detective senses is tingling. All right, raging rat. What you got? Come to have a good laugh at all raging rat's expenses, have you? Well, you're not the first. I say, is there not a man in this entire realm with an ounce of sympathy? Greetings, good sir. How fortunate you are today that your guest is Hildebrand Manderville, a gentleman and inspector. Now, if you will please enlighten me to how exactly it was that you were bitten to a bloody pulp by Miss Avila. Gentlemen, my lords, have ye not a wit or delicacy? Never ye mind. Look, the record may say I lost, but I'll admit to nothing of the sort. I'll shout it at the top of my lungs if no one else will. The girl doesn't fight fair. Champ was playing some kind of foul sorcery, if you ask me. Mark my words, that girl is up to no good. If she went so damned easy on the eyes, she'd be rotted in gaul as we speak. Mm, I'm paying attention to this side. Paying attention to this side. Is this a dude again? Vanessa? Kind of looks like him. I don't know. Because like I said in the previous episode, all this thing over here could be a clue. A like small detail could be the lamp. Could be the X scar on his face. Could be this scar over here. You know what I mean? Could be these tiles. Could be everything. The girls are Megan, or haven't ye heard? You know how it is with those refugees. Why fight with honor when you've got nothing to lose? Yes, and why not disparage an entire people in a pathetic attempt to selfish your sorry pride? This one's a real piece of work, Isara. Let's be on our way. I didn't mean no offense, Miss Just Talent. It like it is, as it were. Perhaps it truly is some manner of sorcery, as the fellow says. Or perhaps she works with an accomplice. She didn't strike me as the magic wielding type. If I were be if I were a betting woman, I'd put my gill on the light on the latter. 
Ah, Miss Ellie, the thrill of the chase has struck a chord with you as well. Yes, I can see it in the wrinkles beneath your eyes. We might very well make an inspectress of you yet. I'll give you a good wrinkle, you insensitive boar. <laughs> Ahem. If what the man says is true, it's likely that her fellow Alamigans might sympathize with her plight. An accomplice could, would hardly be out of the question. Yes, I can see it now. Two unfortunate souls shunned by those around them, united by destiny and a common, com, common, <laughs> common desire for justice. Ample abundages whirling wildly, sending gusts of wind flying every which way. A villa in Ulti, a match made in the heavens. Were it any more obvious I could have solved this case without leaving my home? Incredible, your powers of deduction never fail to amaze, Inspector. What is it with you two and that infernal octopus? <laughs> just don't ask a question. Just, just, just let the man do the man thing, you know what I mean? Mr. Ultra should still be at the Coliseum. Let us hurry before the, he slithers back off to whensoever he came. Yo. You see the... We, you see why I'm surprised? They're not running. This is the first time. They're not running. <laughs> Hildebrand didn't run. That's the first time. Alright. Hildebrand. What you got, boy? What you got, boy? My homies. What up? Shh. Friend. And look over yonder. Behold those exquisite legs, those stylish tentacles, the unearthly undulations of his squirmy, squishy body. Yes, our friend Ulti is a most fascinating creature indeed. Behold how he carefully eyes the gladiatrix before him. What manner of mischief is he plotting? He speaks! Yes, this is most suspicious indeed. Oh, what's this? The girl has fled in a panic. Our friend Ulti appears to be discouraged. Look at the way his shoulders sag. Or how they would sag if he had shoulders. <laughs> Our quarry is on the move. Quickly, Nashu. We must pursue. There you go. Now they run. <laughs> I'm sure you're caref carefully observing the gladiatrix. Exactly. Obviously. I mean, come on now. You know? Come on. It's way too obvious. <laughs> okay. Uh, Back to Kalu. Front of what is this? Like, we have, we're pretty much going back and forth in this area. <laughs> front of Coliseum. Back to Coliseum. Back to front of Coliseum again. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, what's up? What? 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 All right. Uh, you know what? <laughs> okay, let's talk to Hildebrand. Aha, there he is. You will not escape us so easily, Mr. Ultros. Okay, nice you. Mr. Ulti seems to have found himself another gal gladiatrix. What might he be plotting this time? Look at those succulent legs. I reckon they taste just wonderful in a good marinara sauce. I mean... Hmm, marinara sauce. Ah, he speaks. And another girl, another girl rushes off. Whatever did he say to her? He looks so sad. Shall we douse him in lemon powder and put him out of his misery, Inspector? <laughs> oh, chill, Nashu. Whatever is he doing with these girls anyway? We should try to make some friends, maybe, you know? Call me crazy, but I think he likes them. You what? <laughs> Say what?
Nej. Poor Mr. U Mr. Ultras didn't seem to have much luck with the ladies. Speaking only for myself, I'd love to have him for dinner. Perhaps in a nice lemon butter sauce. Oh, uh, I want her so bad. <laughs> I want her. I want her as my hype girl. You know what I mean? Can I have her? Okay. Hildebrand is contemplating the implications of Ultra's behavior. Okay, I see Goldbird. Poor misunderstood Ulti. Here we suspected him of criminal activity when in truth he was just a gentle soul luckless in love. Oh Ulti, can you find it in your squishy slimy heart to forgive us? Yes, yes, now. Perhaps we should return to our investigation. If Ophelia is as suspicious as they say, perhaps we should follow her around for a bit. Dower Meadow back at the Coliseum should be able to enlighten us as to her whereabouts. An excellent idea, Miss Ellie, but I have a better one. Let us return to the Coliseum and speak with Dower. She literally just said that. <laughs> From him, we shall ascertain Miss Ophelia's whereabouts, upon which we shall follow her about to see if she is indeed ace as suspicious as they say. Come now, should investigation calls. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much. Don't think Uncle Alti didn't see you following me. What's the big idea, eh? I'm nothing more than a stupid octopus. <laughs> or am I? Come on now, I just want what any octopus wants. A cute girl! Untold riches and the admiration of millions. Can Uncle Ulti dream? Well, kids hate to ink and run. Then again, I am an octopus. Uh, This is gonna be fun to voice act today, boys. This is gonna be real fun. Yes. What is it? Well, what is it this time? I'm a mission man. Looking for a villa, you say? She says something about sharing a flagon with her countryman of her anti coffin. coffin. I reckon you might still find her there. I warn you though, if you're smart, you'll keep your distance from that one. That poor bugger Gandalon tried to interview her for an article. Thought the girl was going to rip his hat clean off. Where can I put this? She doesn't seem like seem to take kindly to being asked questions for of a personal nature if it catch my drift that said if you're looking for a good sparring match to warm you up for the tourney that might be just a ticket gar har har i can assure you there will be no need for great great tuitous fisticuffs my good sir with my remarkable powers of espionage we will ascertain all the information we need without the viary lass even being alerted to our presence let us be off let me guess, you'll get buried half again. I'm gonna get buried half again. <laughs> I just... I like, come on. <laughs> Let me guess, okay? What do we have here? Behold, the lovely Miss Avila, just as predicted. Let us keep watch from here, so as not to set off the girl's farm famed temper. How many times must I tell you? There is no cause for concern. The spoils shall be mine. It may as well be writ in stone. You sure about that? Do you realize what this means? We have suffered and suffered long, but my victory shall mark a new era. Just, a, just as Robon Aldin won a new life for himself in the Coliseum, I shall win a new life for our people. The price that I shall claim will bolster the wealth of our people a thousand, no, ten thousand fold. In a land where wealth is power, we will be kicked to the gutter by the Uldans no longer. And with that, I must be off to the Nanawa mines to meet my sister. Miss hmm. Avila's self-assurance is ever a sight to behold. I deduce that my own chances of feeling her on the field of battle are infinitely small. I could have told you that before you signed up. Come now, we have a suspect to pursue. We are walking again. We're not running. Oh my god. I, bro, you are a octopus, first off. And all of your body is slimy. 
How in the world you were able to walk on top of ground dirt like this? I have so many questions. But then again, it's a freaking Final Fantasy game. Why bother even asking a question? Just say yes. Gwee hee hee, trying to steal a villa from the Uncle Ulti's tentacle, are you? I'm afraid that isn't going to happen. <laughs> yes, Uncle Ulti's homemade explosive will say that this is the end of the road for you. Does that make me a bad octopus? Ah, the distinctive smell of fire sand. Another one of your handcrafted explosive, I take it, Nashu? Heavens no, Inspector. This is far too elaborate to be one of mine. Do you think whoever crafted this would be willing to give me a lesson? <laughs> they are onto me? Preposterous! Could it be that muscle head isn't as stupid as he looks? I see. In any event, I shudder to think of what might happen if an unsuspecting passerby chanced upon such a hazardous object. Allow me. Hip. Oh! You gotta be kidding me! I told you. <laughs> okay, Hildebrand. What's the plan, boy? What's the plan now? That maiden in mining garb must be the sister of whom Miss Avila spoke. Let us listen a bit closer. I thought we agreed. No hard labor until your leg is healed. I swear, sometimes I think you were born solely to give your poor sister headaches. <clears throat> Come on now. Says the girl who once fought off ten Imperials with one good arm. Perhaps someday you will understand that your little sister can take care of herself just as well as you. Speaking of which, what news of the attorney? Worry not, Hegelina. I have taken all the necessary precautions. The warden's grace is as good as ours. Even the most modest estimates value its worth at some 30 million gil. Do you realize what this means? Necklaces from Ash, Ash Time Mace, sun silk dresses, all the luxuries you've ever wanted will be yours. The poor little girls in shabby clothes, objects of pity and scorn for the Uldan upper crust. Those days are over. After a claim victory, we will take our rightful place at the top of society. Uh, I don't know, Avi. Wealth is all well and good, but... When I see you stand tall in the Coliseum, hundreds and thousands cheering your name, I, I am proud. No matter how humble our birth, if we stand strong and stand together, this alone is all the wealth I ask for. That is your problem, Hegelina. You've always been too quick to settle for less than you were worth. But worry not, for your sister is watching over you. I will do this for us. Now I must return. Gods forbid one of those prying reporters overhears us. That's my Avi, unfazed by a duel to the death, yet tr terrified to be caught in a moment of tenderness. May the gods smile on you, sister, and be safe. Sniff. A more moving display of sisterly love I have not seen. And yet, I fear it has afforded us little in the way of prospective clues. It would seem Aphila's obsession with victory runs even deeper than when than we imagined. That said, I cannot help but feel a bond with the girl. My sister and I were alone in the world too, you see. My god, Ultras. Inspector, did you just hear what I heard? Look, kids, Uncle Ulti has had it up to here with you. Do you think you could just fall in this pit and die like a good little girl? I'm talking to you, Mrs. Warrior of Light. You hear that sound? Just one step closer. Closer! <laughs> of course. See, what did I just say? What? <laughs> I literally nailed it on point. What did I just say? <laughs> Not you, you idiot. Ahem. No need for concern, friends. I have simply taken the liberty of investigating this hole in the ground. And I am pleased to report that there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary. Good. Good to know. Thank you for <laughs> investigating that hole. Our hero. Now, shall we return to Ultra? The Mithril Cup will be starting before long, and the last thing we want after all this is to lose our bout by forfeit. 
could it be? Did that musclehead dive straight into my trap to save his companions? Of course. His big brain. He'll, his little brain we're talking about here, you know? He has way too big brain, big brain to comprehend. The other seems completely unsurprised at this turn of events. Doubtless he has performed such selfless acts before. A true gentleman if I've ever seen one. But if you think that means I'm gonna show mercy on you, you've got another thing coming. Time to break out the big guns, kids. Wait a minute, I talked to Pits, didn't I? Come to think of it. The second one was right around... There you go. Give me a brain! <laughs> yep, stay there. <laughs> so, yeah. Ellie! Whatever does he think he's found this time? Yes, is something the matter? We are on something of a tight schedule here, Inspector. Stand back, Miss Ellie. My, my well-honed inspector senses are tingling. I feel a most fearsome adversary lurking about. Oh. That's Ultras right there. What is that thing? What is it? What? Oh! <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. This time, you're really up the creek without a paddle, kids. Mwah, ah, ah. Ooh, the pose. Say hello to a not-so-little friend of mine from the Coliseum. He is large, he is in charge, and most of all, he is hungry. Quee -hee -hee. Where in the world is he? I haven't got all day. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Easy throw. Easy throw. Look at this beautiful backside. Oh, what a man. My chimera. Who is that half naked fool? <laughs> Father, could it be that the aura of in unmitigated murderous rage that I felt was not our quarry, but you? Hildy, I was merely taking a stroll in search of inspiration and materials for my newest masterpiece in the making. And what brings you and your friends to this part today? Just a bit of sleuth work, father dear. And with that, we must return to Ulta. If you have not heard, your son is set to compete for the Metro Cup. You what? <laughs> Oh, oh, modern lighting as a gladiator, are we? A fitting second career for a Manderville man, if I do say so myself. That muscle-bound old man is the inspector's father. Remind me never to go to one of their family reunions. You just don't. <laughs> You're not gonna get invited anyway, so... Yeah, just who is this inspector anyway? Hildy is a worthy rifle, if ever there were one. Who goes there? Oh, yes. Yes, the chicken. <laughs> the devil chicken. Devil bird. Enkidu. Show me your face. Gilgamesh. There you go. You Hildy, Ixera, I have been waiting for this day. Well, looky who we have here. Yeah. You're quite the intimidating gent yourself. A friend of the inspector, mayhap? I am Gilgamesh, 
wandering duelist, and I am not so much the inspector's friend as his enemy. Well, that makes two of us. Break up, Gulliver. Because this just might be our lucky day. Is there no one in this accursed realm who can remember my... <sighs> Call me what you will, friend, but heed my words. Ixera is a formidable foe. <sighs> that sounded like high praise coming from a big fella like yourself. To have such a powerhouse as his sidekick, that inspector must be something else indeed. Oh, oh he is something else indeed. I know not what brings you to, you two to battle with those two, but I warn you, you will end up as seafood soup if you face them alone. Soup. Nice soup. And with that, I must be off. For reasons that I do not entirely understand, I am considered something of a fugitive in these parts. Yeah, you've been stealing weapons, dude. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You've been stealing weapons left and right. Etc. I will not fall so easily this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it looks like I've got my legs full. All eight of them. But if that adventure is too strong to take on alone, I just have to bring along a friend. <laughs> A subtly twisting ring call, calling to mind the undulations of a creature of the sea. Yes, inspiration has struck. Oh, oh, oh! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nobody here but us octopodes? Look forward for your to your next life as a masterpiece friend or fiend. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can't run. You can't run, buddy. Look at that. Slamming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle hands, I hate it! <laughs> Limit break German suplex. You just can't get away from him, man. You just can't. You just give up. <laughs> the moment Goldbird see you, with, with you know, locked his eyes onto you, you just, you just, just there. Just like, do this. Just, just, just do this. You know what I mean? Like, just do whatever the heck you want, my dude. Like, I can't, I, I can't be bothered to try to run away from you. <laughs> Hildebrand, let's see. Good habits. Chancing upon father like that. I dare say it's taken a year of my life. Quite a crowd has assembled. It would seem the festivities are nigh about to commence. I had hoped to uncover more of Miss Avila's secret, but no matter. What better place to continue my investigation than on the field of battle? Alright. Hildebrand appears to be in something of a hurry. Okay. What you want about, buddy? Good heavens, we haven't much time before the tourney begins. We must hasten back to the Coliseum and appraise ourselves on the rules of engagement. To a true gentleman, the battle is not about victory or defeat, but fighting with honor. Whatever treachery or guile my opponents may employ, I must not. I will not lower myself to that level. Yeah, there we go. As a gentleman, you need to have standard, my dude. You have to have standard. That's what I'm talking about. Hildebrand is my man. Like, bruh, come on. He's my man. He is the man. He's not only my man, he is the man. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, who are we gonna talk to? Okay, nice you. No, not you. Is it just me or Miss or is Mr. Ultras a bit lumpier than he was before? Where he at though? <laughs> Will you kill them to station me a few yams closer to the action? God forbid I actually get to enjoy the tourney after all my hard work. I know right, suck dude. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's 
that's three now. Bams on the head, cheap teeth. I am one shabby looking octopus, I tell you. They didn't pay me enough for this. But that's all going to change soon. Isn't that... Isn't it, buddy? Who the heck is... Uh, Mr. Ultras, just the octopus we were looking for. I was hoping that you might enlighten us as to... Ye gods, who gave you those ghastly bruises? B bruises? I fell down the stairs, that's all. Now get lost. I'm a busy octopus. Yeah. Ouch, you have my sympathy, sy sympathies, good sir. It is challenge enough to coordinate four limbs, let alone eight. Hmm? Is there someone inside your office? Uh, no, whatever gave you that idea. I am simply a fumigating the place. Fumigating the place for pests. Pests like yourself. Now, don't you have a battle to go fight? <sighs> ah. Inspector, I think something's alive in there. That's just me uh, talking to myself. Yes. Fun god gods, yes. Gods, working as a receptionist is fun. Battered, bruised, beset by vermin, and still able to find joy and fulfillment in your work? I say, Mr. Ultras, your passion for your chosen profession is truly an inspiration to us all. He is right. Ixara, if you would come with me for a moment, I fear the stupidity in the air may be contagious. No! What do you mean, you stupid? This is the most high IQ conversation we've had this entire time, okay? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Briarin, how dare you? This is the most intellectual conversation we had so far. Mr. Ultras is truly a man after my own heart. A gentleman among octopodes. Listening to Mr. Ultras talk truly is inspiring. I say he's looking more appetizing by the minute. Stop that, Nashu. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Well, has your investigation borne any fruit? I see. Aphila seeks to win the tourney to claim a fortune and raise her and her sister out of poverty. Furthermore, she has implied that she has taken the necessary precautions to ensure that her victory is all but certain. While trailing her, you nar narrowly evaded a series of dastardly obstacles, and upon your return, the strange octopus appeared considerably worse for the wear. The evidence points in one direction. The Alamigan girl and Ultras are plotting together to claim the Mithril Cup and its lucrative prize. Not entirely true? It's just Ultras doing Ultras thing. Legitimately, like, I don't think Avila even know about that, <laughs> you know? It is not as preposterous as it sounds. I have done some research on our eight-legged friend. It would appear that Ultras has become something of a regular at Ultras Taverns and, uh, House of Pleasure. What a surprise. I suspect that he is using his inside knowledge of the workings of the Coliseum to identify and eliminate potential threats thereby ensuring victory for Avila and earning himself a healthy commission. There is also the matter of the Tempest Blade that is rumored to be the source of the Alamigan's girl's strength. This remains a mystery, which means that I fear your life is still in danger, etc. Now I'm just gonna cast regen on myself. That's all, that's all it takes and avoid the AoE. How hard it could how hard it can be? One of the guards informed me that several crates of ref Views from the Coliseum reception room were hastily discarded in Pearl Lane not bells ago. It is a stab in the dark, but the contents may yet provide some answers. I would ask you to bring them to me. Hi. Okay. Uh, well, the closest one would be... Saphir Avenue. That's one. Then there's another one over there. Mm -mm. Bruh. You keep clicking on this thing. Okay, next. It's the furthest one. There you go. And go back 
to Briardin in Gladiator's Guild. Okay, Briardin. Well, let me see what you have found. Now, what have we here? Ah, yes, a spectacular assortment of innards and entra entrails. And what's this? A sack, even more foul smelling than the gore it was lying in. If that can be believed, and look here. And look here, something appears to be written on the side. Saint Goth Sundries. It would seem this merchant has had dealings with that squishy mass of tentacles. Let us pay a visit to the man and have him enlighten us as to the exact nature of their partnership. Okay. Okay. Welcome, welcome. What might a discerning lady like yourself be looking for today? What about this? Can you explain what this is? I'm sorry, madam, but I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. No exchanges, replacements, or refunds. I stand by the quality of my wares, and I expect my customers to do the same. Wait, now, did Ultra send you? I'll be asking the questions here. What exactly did you sell to that ungodly creature? Why, an entire sack full of gold truffles? Can you believe it? What with the impressive price of that, ah, distinctive aroma, they are only for the most discerning for, of customers, which Mr. Ultras clearly is, as he just placed another order today. Could this truffle somehow be connected to? No, I shall stop myself before I start sounding like... Inspector Briardin, it wounds me, wounds me that you would sneak off to conduct your investigation without me and to steal away etc here this gentleman is not impressed <laughs> did you find anything inspector good gods what is that dreadful smell miss ellie i would have expected a cultured young woman like yourself to be more educated in the epicurean arts that is the most distinct and delightful aroma of the gold truffle, an acquired taste, to be sure, but one that has won the heart of many an Uldan gourmet. I particularly enjoy them slow roasted as my dear mother makes them. Roasted, you say? Why, my mouth's watering just thinking about it. Might I be as so bold as to ask the recipe? It appears the productive portion of this conversation has come to an end. Besides, the tourney is about to begin. Let us make haste back to the Coliseum. Okay. <laughs> Hildebrand. Do you feel the anticipation in the air, my friend? This shall go down in Eorzean history as the greatest battle since I slew that dragon. That did actually happen. Yes. Hagna! <laughs> but for you, Hag, yes, dude. You slew that dragon real good. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> Briar didn't seen enough incompetence for the day. Well, that merchant proved to be a spectacular waste of time. Time which, in sh which is in short supply. We must return to, Cali to the Coliseum before the battles begin. Here is the plan, etc. I shall find a suitable vantage point to observe Miss Avila in combat until I have ascertained the trickery behind her abilities. You are to keep a wide berth of her blade. Understood? Okay. Simple enough. There you are. I was, I was this close to starting the melee without you. Gar har har. I'd be remiss to not tell you that there's been a slight change of plans. Another contestant suffered a last minute injury, and none other than our very own Ultras has stepped in to take his place. With everyone's favorite octopus joining you too in the fray, spectators are just pouring in and bookmarkers, bookmakers across town are raking in the gill, which ain't a bad thing for us. Word has it that Master Firgeis himself is quite taken with my promotional skills. Aye, the future's looking bright for old Dawa Meadow, it is. So what say ye? Are you ready to get your arse kicked? Har har har. Nah.
Hey, that's what I like to hear. Ladies and gents, it's time for Blaze to Whirl and Limbs to Fly. Okay. All right, here we are. Is it for you save your settings before the servers go down? You can do it from the character login screen. Ooh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, plutocrats and poppers, open your eyes and steal your stomachs. The Metal Cup brought to you by our efforts, charitable friends at Imaginas and Sons Metal Concerns. Your concern is our concern. It's about to begin. Okay. Who will stand atop the heap of jeez, main bodies and twisted limbs to claim victory? Will it be the tempestuous Avila of Alamigo, Ixera the Fame, Warrior of Light, or who has that grin in no fool again? Ah, that's right. Humber Batch, agent of infamy and imbecile extraordinary. <laughs> How dare you say that? How dare you do? Or will it be our 11th hour entry? Ultra, still eight legged purple purveyor of pain. Oof. Here I am. Did you miss me? I I say we have a battle for the ages here. Folks, combatants, take your positions and let the battles begin. Just in case the update breaks something or reset the client. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Suspicious bald dude. And look at me. It's chilling. And of course, the one and in, in the one and only. Alright, you know the deal. We team up and wipe up the others. Then, when it's just the two of us, I'll take a dive. And you receive your share of the winnings. I have not forgotten our promise. Oh, they really are working together. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. So it's a Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. He just la he just pose, just posing them. Assert your dominance. It's weak. It's weak. Look at this weakling. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Look at the fearless blaze spin. Why she's a veritable whirlwind of death and destruction out there. They breed them tough in Alamigo. That's for certain. She has changed beginning her ACs of their charts. Exactly, dude. <laughs> you just can't roll. You just can't roll against her. You know what I mean? Even Nat 20 is not gonna it's not gonna hit her. You are next. Alright. Bring it on. You wanna fight the uh the conjurers. The elemental whisperers. Is that what you want? Here we go, ladies and gents. Once my body gets a whiff of this raw truffles, he'll be sneezing up a storm. Literally. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Hildebrand gonna eat this, uh, isn't he? Ah, uh, nothing like the rich aroma of roasted truffles. All this fighting is giving Uncle Alti an appetite. Is it some is it time for dinner yet? Wait a minute, roasted truffles? Oh. Uh, braised in a savory sauce, just like mother used to make them. Feel free to have seconds. There's a whole sackful where that came from. <laughs> that meddling muscle head there. What's taking him so damn long? That girl's gaze gave it away. Open that gate at once. What? Oh. Fuga. Oh, 
Now, what is that monstrosity? <gasps> Mr. Typhon, is that your stomach? I hear rumbling. Could I interest you in some roasted truffles, perhaps? You sure it's a good idea to just stand in front of him? What fascinating friends you have, Ulti. Why, just look at his charming little nose. Hmm, is he perhaps suffering from a case of the sniffles? <laughs> I told you. I, I, I don't think, I don't really think it's a good idea to stand in front of him. <laughs> Could it be Avila's fountain Tempest Blade? It was that monster all along. The girl played us all for fools. Got him. Yeah, get booed. Get booed. What you gotta do now, huh? What you gonna do? Don't look at me. It was all her idea. I'm just a stupid octopus. You were the one who approached me, you double-dealing fiend. And you say yes to it. It's your own fault too. I just wanted to experience the thrill of battle, you know, for my work and all. Come on, Dower, has Uncle Ulti ever lied to you? What did I tell you? I knew there was something fishy about that Alamegan. Strong word. Alamegan spit beggars and brutes, a lot of them. We gave them a home in our alliance. And this is the thanks we get? Send her to the Garlemald for all I care. Just get her out of my sight before I get sick. But I just wanted to... My sister... I feel for the girl, really. My little octopus heart goes out to her, but the rules are the rules, right? Now, if Uncle Ulti may be so bold... I say we call up the melee and have a final showdown between the three remaining competitors. That would be me, my buddy Typhon, and Ixarahi. What do you say, Mrs. of Warrior of Light? I mean, sure. Hey, that's what we want to see. Ooh, trust. Ooh, trust. Ooh, trust. Well, this is a most unprecedented turn of events. But who am I to deny the wishes of such a passionate crowd of martial arts aficionados? The venue, Halatali, the fighters, the tag team of Ultras and Typhon versus the Warrior of Light who will be left standing when the storm has settled. B be there or miss a battle for the ages. Bring it then. Bring it on. Oh, you're still looking at Hildebrand. <laughs> you're stuck on the roof. Of course he is. <laughs> I mean, well, of course he is. <laughs> oh, he did not fight as a gentleman. <laughs> so to review, the truffles were to elicit a sneeze from the octopus oversized crony, which would be positioned so as to appear it was coming from the Alamican girl's plate, allowing the two to sweep away their opponents with ease. No wonder I wasn't able to see it sooner. It's quite possibly the most imbecilic scheme I've encountered in my years of as a consulting inspector. See, again, Briardine. If you just want to sit down and listen to what Hildebrand has to say. Like, you feel... All you do is like, oh, this is not very conducive. This is not very productive. Let us go somewhere else doing investigation to God knows where. There is no relation to what we are looking for, but I want to look smart. Like, dang dude, multiple times. This case can be solved right there and then, if you just listen to Hildebrand. That's all there is to it. Like, bruh. At any rate, we have no choice but to trust in your abilities now, etc. Let us make for Halatali. Now we can solve this easy. I legitimately easy. Oh well. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> There's no telling what in inane trickery that octopus will attempt next. Be on your guard, etc. I suppose if anyone can defeat those fiends, it's you. Be safe, etc. 
Well, this journey is turned into a right mesh. With all the trouble I took preparing consolation prizes for the melee, it looks like we won't be needing them after all. Of course, as long as we were bringing in the spectators and the profits, I could give a nat arse gar har har. Now, I don't know what you're thinking. Two against one ain't fair, especially when one of the two is the size of a small house. So here's the deal. Why don't you bring along some of your friends for the battle? Let's say seven of them. That should even the odds, eh? Wait, what? Oh! The dragon's neck. What is that? Is it a dungeon? Is it a raid? Is it a... Trial? The dragon's neck. Oh. Oh, okay then. No wonder there's eight people. Alright. Alright. The dragon's neck. It's a fren frenetic free-for-all as the Mithril Cup moves to Halatali for the climactic confrontation. Rain will lash and winds will bluster in the perfect storm of a battle. When the tempest subsides, who will rise above the chaos to lay claim to the victor's spoils? Will it be the warrior of light, savior of Eorzea and champion of, the, of her people? Or the dastardly duo of Ultros and Typhon? And it should be Typhoon, I know, but like it's, not, it's only one O, so it's Typhon. All will be answered in Halatali, atop the dragon's neck. Okay. Not sure how long it's gonna be. So we'll just, we'll just queue up and wait. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. Uh, how long does it? I didn't check the time. Oh well. At least we did it. We got the queue. So let's do this. Deeps, there we go. Thank you. Ah, there they are. <laughs> Come by this, the final confrontation will be held here atop the dragon's neck. Oh my god, the music. If all members of a team fall from the platform, they forfeit. Seafood soup is not on the menu today, kids. So, okay, let's see. What, what what should I do? So, two tank tanking different thing. Okay. Okay. I don't know which one to should focus first. I guess Ultras. Let's focus on Ultras for now, I guess. Up both uh, presence of mind and also lucid dreaming. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this. Put some more regen on the both tanks. Just burst down Ultras. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? M. Okay, let me do it again. Double regen in the main tank. Can I get some help here? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> so how do you deal with that then? Oh, I can just... <laughs> I can just go back in, is that... <laughs> Oh, that is so dumb. <laughs> like, I literally said before, like, when you're knocked out, you just, you know, just can't go back anymore. You get disqualified, basically, but, no, you get knocked out, just jump back. <laughs> oh. What the what, dude? Oh, we have to, okay, it's a, it's a spinny spin. It's a spinny spin. Yeah, I'm gonna benedict myself with this. 
least get some taunt going. Ow. Okay, got Medica going. Da 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 da. Hey. Okay. Oh, this one I have to get close. I would assume. Wee. Yep. I knew it. Please taunt. Please taunt. You can get minions from the Hildebrand Trials. Ooh, okay. If everybody falls off, you lose. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Okay, we, we got the mechanic. Water again. I feel like such a sucker. Because you are. <laughs> and Ixera claims the Mithril Cup. What a trial, what a fight. <laughs> what a fight. Hey. 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 The Hildy fights are fun. Yeah, the the uh, uh Gilgamesh fight too is pretty good. Ooh, hey, we got Ultras though. We got ultras though. That's the most important part though. Minion. She's gonna be flying around. Can you interact with me? I said you're gonna. God, oh, that looks so ugly. I. <laughs> ah, that's so. That's an oof. No, 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 no. Let's go puff to puff of darkness. Then. That one is because it, it's able to interact with me. Okay, that'll be better. Okay. Briardine. Good show, Ixera. Your performance has earned us front row seats at the award ceremony. This should afford us the perfect vantage point to thwart the thief. Come, let us return to the Coliseum. Okay. Okay. Let's see. A most remarkable display of martial skill, my adventuring friend. Clearly, you have been observing me well in our travels together. The ceremony will begin any moment now. Be on your guard. Our adversary may be anywhere or anyone. Mm-hmm. Post on him. It was a battle for the ages, but a worthy victor has risen to claim the spoils. And now, let's take a look at the relic that our champion has won. <laughs> I love that the Ultra Slump is still there. <laughs> Behold, from the personal faults of Master Firgaz himself, the Warden's Grace, a timeless treasure the likes of which our realm has ever never seen. One that's earned the attention of Eorzea's most prominent pilfer, Gar Har Har. Shiny. Oh, here comes the thief. Above you. Ladies and gentlemen, inspectors and invertebrates, the opening act dragged on overlong, but worry not, the main event is about to begin. There he is. I know that you paid well for your seats here today, but I can assure you that my performance will not leave you disappointed. Now, I invite one and all to sit back and enjoy the show. It's a distraction. Eyes of the price. Eyes of the price. 
vile fiend, mark my words, you have stolen your last treasure. I swear on it, the Manderfield name. Ooh, Gilgamesh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think not, Hildegard. Greg! <laughs> Greg, tis always a pleasure to reunite with old friends, but your timing truly leaves something to be desired. Oh, wait, we gotta fight Gilgamesh now? Is that what it is? Got him! <laughs> Ixera, you bastard me once, but not today. I shall have my revenge when I pierce your chest with my spear. Which spear are you talking about? Do you not mean your skewer? Ew! <laughs> my spear! Oh, the, the laugh track. <laughs> it's so good. And there you go. <laughs> Vile thief, is there not a shred of honor in you? Return my weapon at once. Oh, ho. it seems we had an ex unexpected guest. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I fear attendance at today's performance is by invitation only. This snaps, though. This snaps like the Thanos snap. Hmm? Now it's ready, Truffles. But the battle's already... Mr. Typhon, ah, uh, or just a moment. I'm sure I had the tissue here somewhere. <laughs> and Kidu, still holding on to that uh, beautiful skewer. Take it, my boy. Take it, and, and Kidu. Oh, oh, I got pushed. Oh, it went Gilgamesh, it went Greg. Ah, this, screw this guy. Oh, God. Alas and alack, the ring sails straight into the hands of the fiend. Giving up so soon, are we? Those don't sound like the word of a Manderville man. Okay. What? <laughs> Papa? Oh, shut up. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the walk, though. The walk, though. Whee! Slamming. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, <laughs> wait, hold, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. what? I didn't... Okay, you know what? B but of course, brilliant father, if the ring won't come to me, I shall go to the ring. Why, it will just be... It will be just like Dalamud. Exactly. If the ring doesn't come to you, you go to the ring. Basic. Hildebrand Helidor Maximilian Manderville. Skyward as only a Manderville can. Oh, the, the LB. LB toss now. <laughs> Before LB suplex, now LB toss. Oh, bruh. Really? Father, you know not your own stra. <laughs> <laughs> Slow vocal cool, well, well, walking in underwear. Heck yeah, man. You just can't. Because that would work out perfectly. Exactly. He is the man. 
It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Hildebrand. <laughs> and there goes the real bird right there. That <laughs> and there goes the real bird. Ooh. 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 At least he stayed on the map. Yeah, I guess so too. <laughs> And mantra. This legs, they look strangely familiar. <laughs> and Kidu. <laughs> Put a little too much spin on that one, it seems. Not exactly as planned, but who can argue with the rest of the res results? Say for one thing, this ring is a fake. Oh. Oh, okay. No wonder the uh, Dower Meadow is like smiling a little bit before. But no matter, I have a feeling this will lead me to the true treasure. Until next time, friends, you have been a most attentive audience. That key! B bloody else! Guard, seize the feed at once! Not gonna work, dude. What are you talking about? Look at this! It's not gonna work! Oh, that's a bomb. Yep, 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 yep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and now she's just clapping. It's too late, sir. The second prize, the Ring of Inquiry, it's gone. Second prize? What is the meaning of this? Ooh, got him. Many face, fiend or no, the man spoke true. A master goldsmith's eyes cannot be deceived. This, this sun sphere is clearly a second rate replica. Preposterous, it's just a uh, dim lighting. Yes, if you just step over here. Yeah, that that's not gonna, like that's gonna do anything. Naishu is the best, exactly, dude. Can I have Naishu as my like permanent partner from now on? <laughs> have you taken ill, friend? You seem to be perspi perspiring most heavily. No wonder he's smiling before. Uh, let's not be so hasty, friends. I, I can explain. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Avila. And there goes Hildebrand. <laughs> well, every time there's an explanation, she's just living in the background. Yep. Also, if there's an explo there's this uh, explosion or something, she just claps. <laughs> I sold out my honor. Join forces with that. Odious octopus, all for a false treasure. What a fool I have been. Whatever was I thinking? Do not berate yourself so, Miss Avila. Why, it was exactly as you said, was it not? You were thinking of dear Hegelina, not nothing more. I suppose I was at that. Hmm? How do you know my sister's name? I assure you, young miss, under no circumstances did I tell you to the Nanawa Mines to eavesdrop on your intimately personal dialogue with your beloved sister. Perfect. 
<laughs> Perfect. Perfect explanation right there. Not gonna work. <laughs> Not gonna work. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, you. You. You have the right of it. Blinded by the prospect of fortune and fame, I lost sight of myself and what I truly was fighting for. My honor and my sister's trust will not easily be regained, but I will not shirk from the challenge. Uh, hey, what? Why is this here? One mystery still remains. Before the thief had identified the ring as fake, he had already acquired the key to the storeroom. Clearly, the second prize, this ring of inquiry, was his target from the start. But why? There must be some pattern to the items the fiend has stolen. A pattern that betrays his true intentions. So, it's Blade first. The second is... Wait, wait, what's the first one? I don't remember. The blade is the second one. Or the blade is actually the first one. I don't even remember. I would say the blade is the first one, second one is the necklace from Arabella, and then the third one is the ring. So what is the pattern here? The treaty uh, literally is right here, oh my god. <laughs> The Treaty Blade Azazema, Azema's Virtue, the Ring of Inquiry, all relics which with quite a history, or to be more precise, relics from the era of the Belladians. I forgot to give him voice. Think. Think. Like you never think before. Oh, if that is so, the answer is clearly a stay. The Fiend means to found Eorzea's greatest museum of Belladian history. Pushing up the prices and gouging honest men out of their hard-earned coin. Doubtless another one of his cars will appear on the scene to tell us just as much. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's not wrong. And there it goes again. She is slipping. Waiting for the cards. <laughs> there it is. Ooh. <laughs> He's so happy about it. Wait, don't tell me it's gonna be a really big card. I knew it. <laughs> It's gonna be a really big card. Dang. <laughs> Ooh, heck yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Good try. Good try. Oh no. And here comes the sneeze. Stop! <laughs> Stop this! And everyone thought it's Nashu. Oh, I can't. I can't. Stop. <laughs> when you thought it's there. But nope. Refers Uno that. <laughs> I have enjoyed our little game, but all good things must come to an end. I shall claim the four sacred treasure, and justice shall be served. So this is the thief's final challenge to us, but what are these four treasures of which he speaks? Where the four treasures of Eladia become one. The wicked shall be judged in the blazing light of sun. Hmm. A 
an old legend, little more than a fairy tale at that, and yet it seems the fandom believes there is some truth in these words. Four sacred relics for Belladia, the Warden's Justice, lofty words coming from a glorified footpad. One who's winning off of the common folk by the day, if rumors are to be believed, it would seem the tales of a master thief ruffling the feathers of the rich and famous have won the man more than a few admirers. Consider, consider his targets thus far, an Uldan collector and her hired thugs, a trading mogul and the brass blades, and now a mining magnate and the stone torches. Is it any surprise that the sympathies of ordinary Uldans would lie with the perpetrator rather than his victims? Hmm. As to the observed, Miss Ellie, our quarry clearly harbors no small degree of resentment for wealth and authority. Might his next target be a member of the syndicate? Perhaps the Sultana herself? <laughs> then it will be to it will be to his downfall for the greater the challenge the higher i raise <coughs> just a moment if you would there you go mark my words ye of many faces there is but one man who shall lay claim to the four lost relics of Belladia, and it shall be hildebrand agent of inquiry inspector extraordinaire and I click out of the game. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yes, I'm sure that inspires us inspires us all with great confidence. You don't get inspired by that woman? Oh. Ooh. That's a real culprit right there. Hmm. What's that? Oh, it couldn't be. <laughs> Me thinks Godbird may need a, v a new pair of spectacles. Yeah, that's the, that's the real culprit. So the one who show up is not the culprit. That's the one that, that's the, 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 the real culprit right there. And that's it. We are done with the episode four, dude. What an episode, man. Okay, hold on. Not yet. Gentlemen Bar, Hildebrand. It's a race to recover the four lost relics of Belladia. As the fiend's true identity and aspirations are revealed. Oh yes, will Eorzea fall prey to the forces of evil? Oh man, I love this. Or will our hero do what only a Manderfield can? Hildebrand will return in her last foe. Oh, the, the black and white style. Like, oh good, that is so good. <laughs> Heck yeah. And Ashu, yep. Up here, yep. The key to the next case is a mask. Have you ever worn a mask for so long that you forgot what you actually look like? I have. I don't... Again! <laughs> What's with that thing? And now... And how did they freeze in midair like that? Talk about a mystery. Oh well, see you next time. Man, I should really look good in that outfit though. Like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Don't tell me you're not agreeing with me. <laughs>